Hello and welcome back. This is Danny. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to be building a little power plant building uh, and we're going to be doing some power generation. Right now, let's see, I just got done excavating, well, I don't know about done, but I just excavated this area. This is where I want the power plant to be. It'll be kind of hidden behind this wall and it's going to be a st stone, probably stone and wood with predominantly stone as like the main structural blocks, kind of the main frame, and then wood kind of around like the windows and doors. Uh, generators in the basement that we're going to bring out so that we don't have to listen to them in the house anymore. We've got all these, all these sterling generators that are each doing ADRF and then we've got this uh, culinary generator which we're going to bring out there as and well. What I'm going to do to generate more power is I'm going to tap into that oil reserve right there and then we've got another one I should look at it sideways yeah over here let's turn this on so I can go faster and we've got one there and then we've got that one over there and that'll be enough to provide us quite a bit of power for a while because this one you can kind of tell by how how far they stick out of the earth <laughs> but the higher up they are um, generally the larger the reserve is underground and then we're also going to at some point build a probably very soon so I'm going to make this fairly large because we're going to be building a big reactor as I'm going to well. use the same um, stone that I used for the foundation of the other buildings the polished stone bricks with my chisel this stuff right here and that is going to be the, the walls and the frame and then like I said I'm going to have wood kind of in the middle well not not along this wall this wall will be all stone because it's going to be against but over here I'll have some wood areas with some windows and that sort of thing but we'll start off with the frame I guess this guy <laughs> oh no <laughs> I didn't want to do that <laughs> Darn it. I was pointing to the wrong block Alright, <laughs> there we have it. It's kind of simple and industrial looking. And we're going to have lots of generators and stuff lined up in here. <laughs> okay, our power plant is ready <laughs> for some new new power generation and what I've got in my inventory right now is a BC factory pump for pumping oil I also have a tesseract which is going to bring power to the pump and it's also going to bring the oil back to our base 
And what else do I have? I have a refinery, which is going to get set up in the power plant to turn the oil into fuel. So two refineries, two compression dynamos. I have a bunch of tanks. And, and a bunch of augments to make our compression dynamos produce a lot more power. I get our, our pump on the top of this. this. Put that there, and then we'll throw our pump right there. And then we're going to take our tesseract it right there. And we're going to tell it that we want to receive energy and we can block items. We want to send fluids. So we should see that our pump is getting RF. It's not. Oh, we have to select. Select main. Okay, so now our pump has is getting our F. Whoa. And then this guy, this little drill thing is basically gonna go down as far as it needs to go until it reaches the bottom of this oil source. Alright, we've got our two refineries set up here. We've got our compression dynamo set up here. got our tesseract feeding fluid into this tank which is going to be our oil tank and actually I need to we're actually going to need to use ender fluid pipes here because I want to be able to filter it and I'm using the pressurized fluid conduits which which are great and everything, but um, they'll let any fluids in. <laughs> and if the oil happens to get below one of the tanks and all of a sudden one of the tesseracts picks up some other fluid, it's going to end up dumping it in that tank. That. Okay, there we go. And I can filter this and say we only want oil whitelisting, we're extracting, always active. And then we can put the same filter on here too, although it doesn't really matter. Insert only oil. Oh crap, <laughs> now it's full, I can't get rid of this bucket of oil. Yet, anyway. Oh, you know what, I can just put it in one of the refineries. There we go. Alright, so now what I need to do is I need to use my pressurized fluids, fluid cable, fluid uh, things. <laughs> to bring oil into these refineries. And here I can use just the regular pressurized fluid conduits because nothing would ever be here other than oil. So we're gonna extract from here. Whoops, always active. Now these buckets, I mean these tanks, have to be extracted from the bottom. Let's see. We'll have to put some some facades down there over here too. All right, so these guys, all right, they're gonna need some. So kind of think of it. We, we might want to use under conduits here too because. Then we can have more. Then we can have use them to also bring the fluids into our. Yeah, let's do that. Um, hopefully, we'll have enough. 
we'll just go going to set that to extract for now because we don't want it to do anything yet until we make some fuel. Um, this is going to be in and out. In is going to be oil again. Oh crap, now i got to grab another bucket of oil. Oops. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what we're extracting. We're inserting oil. And it's whitelist, which means we're only allowing what's in that list. And then that's it. So then we're just going to create some fuel. But first, we've got to get these guys some RF. Um, there we go. Now we are producing fuel. Yay. Actually, we can run the compression dynamos on oil, um, but fuel is much more efficient. And actually, one more thing we need that I forgot to add to my list here. Um, we need water. So we're going to need an aqueous accumulator. All right. Our compression dynamos are now full of water. And we just need to get them some fuel. Oh, right, okay, so we actually have to, we can't fill the tank from the bottom, we can only extract, so, there we go, this is not exactly, let's do it from up here, whoa, 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 oh, crap, there we go, so now, <laughs> now I can get a bucket of this stuff, sometimes working with these fluids <laughs> is a little bit tricky, because when you're w working with more than one fluid, Sometimes you just don't know what what fluid you're gonna end up with. Okay, now this is going to be insert, and we just want fuel in here. And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna do that, and then we've got to get all this crap out of these other. Just to empty the buckets. <laughs> I mean the tanks. So now that all drops down there. And we should. Oh, actually, we still have to. Oh no! Ah. So those things ended up taking in oil, which we do not want. So this is insert only fuel and water actually there we go now we should see the same thing happening here we want to extract yep okay so we are now producing eight <clears throat> 80 RF per tick and this guy's not getting any oil why not Alright, insert oil, extract fuel. Insert oil, extract fuel. Okay. We would also like to accept water. <laughs> insert water and fuel. And nothing else. Alright, so the water filled up. The oil is going down, and now we can start putting in these augments. Now, by default, these things give us 80 RF per tick. And the thing about the compression dynamo, I mean, there's a couple different generators you can use to burn fuel and produce RF. Um, but the compression dynamo, I believe it produces the most RF per tick um, for a one block thing. But it always uses RF. So even when it doesn't, well, even when it's not needed, if all our buffers are full, it's still going to produce 10% of its entire <clears throat> um, 
of its maximum. So in this case, it's going to produce 8 RF per tick, even if it doesn't need it. But I don't think we would ever not need it. <laughs> but that's something that you should take into consideration if you are um, upgrading. We don't need this. Actually, we'll just leave that in there. Because what's going to happen when we upgrade this thing is now it's going to be 16 RF per tick. Now it's 320 RF per tick. Now it's 640 RF per tick. And that means that when it's not being used, it's still going to produce 64 RF per tick. So it'll be burning fuel, enough fuel to produce 64 RF per tick, even when it's not. OK, now it's filling it with fuel. Not fast enough, though. No, it is. It is. OK, good. Um, you can see how slow it burns through the fuel, but once we pop these augments in, <laughs> it, it sucks through that fuel pretty quickly. But we're now producing 1,280 RF per tick with just these two. Just these two things. All right, so there we have it. We are now producing... Whoa, we are now producing a lot more power than we were before. And we'll probably continue to add on to this. And at some point, we're going to build a big reactor. In fact, maybe maybe this that other corner of the room can be our big reactor, the other side of the room. Because the big reactor is big, <laughs> so it's going to need a lot of space. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. And if you have any comments, I'd like to hear them. Um, you can leave them below. Bye. -bye.